Hey, fellas, embrace this moment. We bring the fight to them. Yes, we come out the first five minutes and we throw the first punch. Yes, we come out the first five minutes and we throw the first punch. Let's go. I never knew what basketball could do for a country until I was a part of this. Well, around the world, South Sudan has come to be known for its struggles in its first decade of independence, but it's also managed to make its way to the international basketball scene. African basketball is, is different. You definitely have to teach mental toughness and then physicality. Teams were saying in the beginning that we weren't physical, we're not strong enough to keep up with the way basketball is played in Africa. People saying, oh, you guys play fast, you play fast. And I said, why not? World Cup. Oh! So much emotion. You don't have just one guy. If someone doesn't have a good night, best believe that it's five other guys that are capable of having, you know, one of those type of nights. Don't get comfortable. Strive for greatness. Keep on competing. For 20 more minutes, we close this thing out. And stay together. Stay the course. We're competing for the top spot to qualify for the World Cup. For people here, it's the first time ever that a team might go to the World Cup. They've seen their team beat Egypt, Congo, Tunisia. They've never seen it. In such a short period of time, we were able to go from 40-something to being the number one team in Africa. South Sudan captured the hearts of the continent. Their emergence as a new force in African basketball has coincided with the leadership of ex-NBA star Luol Deng as the president of their federation. As a South Sudanese kid, I always try to look someone that was from, you know, from my country trying to do the same thing. And that's where I saw Luol Deng. He was definitely one of the players that I looked up to a lot. Looked up his name, see he went to do, see he was on the British national team. I was like, wow, I gotta figure out a way to be like him. It's one thing for people to say, you know, what they do for their, where they're from, but he's doing it for a country. He's a natural born leader. He trusted me with something that is so precious to him. To hear these guys' stories of going to refugee camps and displaced from their family, I couldn't imagine living that. My mom was in Gambela and she ended up migrating to Nairobi, Kenya and I was born in a refugee camp there. My parents moved from South Sudan during the Civil War. They moved to Lebanon where I was born. I was born in Kakuma, a refugee camp right on the border of South Sudan. My parents moved there from Awul because of the Civil War. Imagine your family fleeing a country and going to find life somewhere else and instead of you being in that other country and forgetting about South Sudan or enjoying your professional basketball career, you're actually committing to come back and play for that the same country that you fled because of the war and you're the one now bringing all this positivity to it. symbol of sovereignty and identity flies for the first time. They celebrate their long-awaited independence marked by two civil wars over five decades and countless lives lost. South Sudan has been in the longest civil war in Africa. We finally got our independence in 2011. After that time, there's been a lot of internal conflict, wars between different factions, different tribes. I really had a hard time with my country not being recognized, being in the news for the negative things. These people have been killed. There's no food in this region. There's flooding here. Kids um, dying from hunger or kids going to war. It was always negative. I always said to myself that I'm going to put South Sudan on the map for something positive. Every time we play, this is the only thing that's putting a good image out there for us in our country. To be able to get the chance to represent your country on a global stage is probably second to none. You know, we're trying to fight for something. We're trying to be you know, recognized, be seen in the world as, you know, human beings. Win or lose, we're out there representing South Sudan. We're out there changing the narrative. It's a lot going on in that country. Through basketball, we're connecting the dots. I want these guys to realize what sports does for the country. The sports is going to be the vehicle of unity. We were able to bring people together. 
we're fighting for something else. We're fighting for peace, we're fighting for each other. We're trying to build as one. It doesn't matter what tribe you're from, we're bringing in guys that are representing South Sudan. It's literally washing that tribalism mindset away. And that's how it should be overall everywhere, not just in South Sudan, whether it's government, sports, or anything. You pick the best individuals to get that job done. It just shows an example of why we should all work together. This is something deeper and more meaningful than just basketball. It's a way to build the nation up and bring the people together. In order for this country to move forward, they're at their best when they come together. So we're just going to keep on pushing the envelope and keep on being the messengers for this young nation. Unbelievable votes. South Sudan, one tough team. Come on, man.